What do you do each day to be watchful for the enemy's attack? First Peter 5, 8 shows why we should discipline ourselves for the spiritual warfare. Do you want to know more about it? Then stay tuned. Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let's go to the first section, Exposition. Let's read 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Be sober-minded, be watchful, like a watchman. Now, uh, notice this. Your adversary, the devil. It means the adversary, your enemy, is the devil, not people. Okay, The spiritual warfare is real and brutal, as in Ephesians 6. 12, but it doesn't say it's not about flesh and blood, we meaning human, but it is about the spiritual being, the devil. He is the real enemy. So we need to be sober minded. We need to be watchful. The devil works like 24 7, so we have to be awakened. Okay, and uh, because he is pros like around like a roaring lion seeking to someone to devour. So we have to be very careful. We have to be waking up and always be ready to fight a spiritual battle. To do that, we need to discipline ourselves spiritually. The Bible calls us to be awake because of the unseen reality of spiritual warfare. Just because we are a Christian does not mean that we are immune to the attack of the evil one. We are exposed to the evil one's attack at all times. So we are to be sober-minded and awake. How can we be sober-minded? Through spiritual discipline. When I was trained in an army base, we had to uh, sleep, but there was always someone standing at a post at watchman. We took turns to watch for any possible attacks. We're disciplined to do so. Spiritual warfare is more real and brutal that we are to be awakened. Daily prayer, reading of scripture, and obedience to His word helps us, help us to be awakened all the time so that we can spot the enemy's attack and be ready to fight against the evil one with the power of God always. By the way, what do you do each day to be watchful for the enemy's attack? Share your examples in the comment section below. Remember keywords here, watchful, adversary. So the main idea is be disciplined to be watchful for the enemy's attack. Read this first three times out loud. Pause the video. Close your eyes and recite this first word by word. Pause the video, please. Okay, let's fill in the blanks and check it. Be sober-minded. Be your the devil prowls around like a ro roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Answers are watchful adversary in today's verses. 1 Peter 5, 8. We've been talking about how walking with God equips us for life and ministry. And this week's theme is self-control and discipline, 12th week. Let's review seven verses from this week. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is stupid. What is this verse? Proverbs 12, 1. Whoever spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. What is this one? Proverbs 13, 24. So this is a series of Proverbs. A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Okay, what is this one? Another Proverbs 25, 28. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to men. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he also provides the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Okay, what is this verse? 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Okay, what is this one? Philippians 4, 8. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Okay, what is this one? Hebrews 12, 11. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Okay, what is this one? 1 Peter 5, 8. Let's connect them all together. 
Discipline leads to knowledge. Loving parents discipline their children. Without self-control, will be broken. Faithful God will provide a way to escape or endure the temptation. Think of anything excellent. Spiritual discipline helps us to bear fruits. Be disciplined to be watchful for the enemy's attack. Let's review with quick quiz. What is this verse from 11th week theme, Walking with God? He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Okay, the answer is B, Isaiah 40, 29. What is this verse? Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Okay, the answer is C, Philippians 4, 8. What words are missing here? No temptation has overtaken you that is not to man. God is, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to it. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Okay, the answer is? Answer is C, common, faithful, ability, and endure. Which theme is the 12th week's theme? The answer is? D, self-control and discipline. Okay, lastly, what is this verse? A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Okay, the answer is? D, Proverbs 25, 28. All right, great job. You memorized 84 verses. Make sure to put your unique icon or emoji on 365 Empowerment Checklist on the description section below so you can check your progress. If you think this video is helpful, please share this video with others like coworkers, friends, friends, or family members. And if you have not, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that YouTube will show this video to more people in the world so that more people in the world will hear the Word of God. And also watch Day 42 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible so you can get the bigger picture of the Bible as well. Please to make sure to pray at least one hour after you read 17 chapters assigned for today. All right, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.